Hello everyone, this is the 6th edition to the Matrix Decomposition Series, and today we'll be looking at Householder Matrices building up to the second type of QR factorization. There will be two videos dedicated to this decomposition. The first where we'll simply talk about what Householder Matrices are, and the second where we'll walk through an example of using these matrices to carry out the QR factorization. Let's get started by defining a householder matrix. Note that you may also hear it called the householder reflection matrix, and we'll discuss this in a little bit. We define a householder matrix like so, where H is square and U is a unit vector under the dot product in Rn. There are two important properties of householder matrices. First is that they're symmetric. So if we transpose them, we actually get back the same matrix. We can check this really quickly by transposing the right side of this definition. Recall that we can distribute the transpose operator over the sum. And now the equation we're left with can be simplified very easily. As you can see, I transpose is simply just I. And then to take the transpose of a product, we can use this the following property where we swap the order of the multiplication and transpose each of the components of the product. And as you can see, we end up with the same matrix we started with. Hence, our H matrix is indeed symmetric. The second property is that these matrices are also orthogonal. Recall that an orthogonal matrix is a square matrix whose inverse is its transpose. Hence, it must satisfy this equation. Q transpose times Q equals the identity. This is a special case of a semi-orthogonal matrix, which we discussed in the last video. And if you remember, those matrices were allowed to be rectangular, whereas our H matrix has to be square. Now we can verify that the householder matrix is indeed orthogonal by seeing if this satisfied this equation. We're simply going to go ahead and multiply H transpose by H. And then we can expand it like so. Now recall that since U is a unit vector, U transpose times U will simply be 1. Now these terms cancel, and we get H transpose times H is the identity matrix, which is the definition of an orthogonal matrix. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about what a householder matrix is geometrically, and what this U vector actually means here. Recall that matrices can be thought of as linear functions that map vectors from one vector space to another. So in the 2x2 two two case, let's say this is, our follow, this is our unit vector, and we define a householder matrix using this unit vector like so. Now, if we treat this householder matrix like a function and multiply it by any other 2D vector, so let's say this vector V, what we're simply doing is reflecting this vector V across the perpendicular axis of our unit vector. Hence why these matrices are known as Householder Reflection Matrices. Now there's one final thing we must discuss before we're ready to do the QR factorization with these matrices. We will see that in the next video, instead of using the Gram-Schmidt process to make a set of orthonormal vectors to form our Q matrix, we will form our Q matrix by multiplying a string of Householder Matrices. So let's quickly show that a product, the product of orthogonal matrices also produces an orthogonal matrix, since we will be assuming this fact in the next video. Say we have a matrix Q that is formed by multiplying a bunch of orthogonal matrices like so. Now Q transpose will be all of these orthogonal matrices transposed but in the opposite order, again due to this property right here. Now, if we multiply Q transpose by Q, we can see that the inner two matrices will simply give us the identity. 
this carries on with the rest of the matrices and we end up getting that Q transpose times Q is the identity. Hence we have proven that the product of orthogonal matrices is also an orthogonal matrix. All right, that is all for today. Stay tuned for the next video when we actually use these matrices to carry out the QR factorization. Thank you.